Now this last clip's probably gonna be my most controversial opinion, and that's okay, because sidekicks don't work. Hey, my name is uh, Seth. Did you know Joe Rogan's thrown kicks before? Joe Rogan's thrown kicks before, and apparently they're pretty good. Supposedly. I don't know. I've never watched them. I've never seen them on the internet being shared hundreds of thousands of times. Never seen that. So today we're going to look at Joe Rogan, who apparently does a podcast. He's going to do some of the martial arts. This is something that I have not gotten hundreds of comments on. Joe Rogan's going to throw a kick. We're going to break it down. Pretty much is how this is going to go. All right, so we're going to watch Joe Rogan throw the spinning rear kick. Now, Joe Rogan has a wonderful spinning rear kick, and it's for a very specific set of reasons. Joe Rogan's a sweaty guy. When, you, when you're so much man, there's just so much sweat that comes out. Pretty much manliness just oozes out of him. In all of these like old school Joe Rogan kicking stuff videos that are from like early 2000s, there's more sweat than there is floor. I don't know what it is with their ventilation system. I hope they got that fixed though. Beautiful sidekick. He's got this hip mobility that works really, really well. His legs are a little more, a little more stout. What's really interesting is you see, I'm not listening to it, but you can see that GSP has already picked up the main reason that Joe Rogan has a really strong back kick. And it's because he's using all the same muscles that he jumps and squats with, right? So as he's throwing this kick, because he's turning backwards, he's using all these muscles right here. And he's really driving through and he's making a straight line from his head to his heel. Now we're gonna watch GSP throw the same kick. Mind you, I can't hear it. He might be saying this stuff. I don't know, I've never watched a Joe Rogan video. I've definitely never watched this video. But let's assume that GSP is the average person who has problems with spinning rear kicks. Just the average fighter, just like you and I. The average person who needs help, GSP. Boom, turns his heel. Honestly, that's a great kick. That's a phenomenal spinning rear kick. Now, one of the reasons that people have a really hard time with the spinning rear kick is because of this stance and because of the nature of the spinning rear kick. If this is my front foot and this is my back foot, front foot, back foot, I have to get my foot out of the way to give myself a straight line to go towards you, right? Because all my kicks are coming straight line towards you. Spinning kicks aren't any different, so you have to get this foot out of the way, then it has to come around the back. Now, from a sideways stance, it's a lot easier to get this foot out of the way because you don't have to go as far. Where if I'm here, boom, has to go this far to get out of the way to go sideways stance he's already starting with his foot nearly out of the way here so he can just move it a small amount or just turn it bang to get that kick going that's the problem that most people have that time he just missed boom turn look yeah that's good so now they break it down even further and joe rogan talks about just the sidekick itself one of the things that he's really good at is you can see his back knee is pointed away and he's really got that hip loaded up so as you can see here his hip is inside of this foot. That's a huge thing. If I'm gonna push something away, I don't wanna have my feet right underneath me, right? I'm not gonna go like this. Ugh, Cause I'm gonna push myself first. I want to have my hips underneath me, my feet behind me so I can brace and push. Same thing goes for your hips, same thing goes for your feet. So my feet, my hips should be right here. My foot should be right here. His knee is pointed this way, which allows him to drive this way, which is one of the reasons the sidekick is so great. Let's move on to the roundhouse kick. Joe Rogan's roundhouse kicks. Did you know that almighty emperor Joe Rogan has the strongest roundhouse kick in the world? It's measured at 8 million DMTs per unit. That number's confirmed by NASA. So don't look it up, it's private information. So let's actually talk about why Joe Rogan's roundhouse kick is so powerful and why it has so much drive through the cube thing. Okay, let's take a second to pause. Great arm swing, just like great runners. If you watch great runners strides, none of them are running like this. Like their arms are going in opposite motion in these big, big movements, and it's very efficient. Having that cross body like motion is huge for gaining power. Joe Rogan's here is obviously no different. Something the ties are really good at is the swinging of the arms. Bang. Now watch this. Boom, you see that arm pull all the way back. Whew back to his back pocket, the same way a runner does when he takes off. With this right knee up, left hand high, same thing here when it comes to kicking. 
Bang. Now look at this again. Now this time, Joe's base foot is inside of his hip. And because he's taking off like he's in a sprint in this direction, boom. It's like he's getting his sideways like running motion this way, boom. He's manipulating the roundhouse to instead of go same spot, he's like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna take this bag with me over here. Boom. And he's getting off the center line and moving everything with him. Then after he does this, he lets his leg go, tick, 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 boom. I actually am interested to see, look at how tight this chamber is. Now this is way different than most people's powerful kicks when it comes to a chamber, because they think the strongest kick is like that baseball bat kick, where it's all set up in the same spot, bang. But in all actuality, having the timing to go chamber, 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 extend. So the variables at play here are the cross body, boom, like this. His momentum going around like he's taking off in a, like an explosive sprint, boom. But also what this chamber does is it adds one extra variable, one extra little piece of the puzzle in this extension. Not just using it like it's a, like it's a dead limb to go, boom, right? When you see somebody swing a baseball bat, they're really tight and they're loaded. They turn everything and then they extend at the last second. Bang. They're not just straight arm, right? That doesn't make any sense. Joe Rogan does a great job here. Bang. And then he turns his hip over, his knees point in the opposite direction. Something to really take note of. Now, also mind you, he's a very powerful bundle of like gorilla muscle, pretty much. Now this last clip's probably gonna be my most controversial opinion and that's okay because sidekicks don't work. Now, this clip right here is one that gets sent to me more than any other clip, and it's because I so often dog the fact that people pick their knee up when they throw a sidekick and then turn their body over, and this is what they send me. Now, here's why it's baloney, it's malarkey, it's crap, it's booty cheeks, and I'm, I like Joe Rogan's kicks, mind you, but he doesn't teach them in this clip, this specific clip, the same way that he actually does it. So he picks his knee straight up, boom. And then he turns his hips over, boom, super tight one style. What they do is they use their back leg on a lot of occasions, like WT especially, use their back leg, and then they turn it over at the end. Now this like seems like it's what he actually does when he goes full speed, but it's not. In my opinion, you should pick up the foot to go towards them first. This is my knee, this is my foot. If you couldn't tell, my foot is closer. You pick up the knee like this, boom, and then you extend. Instead of going like this, boom, I wish I could show you. I think you should chamber it by pulling your knee to your opposite shoulder. Boom, here, right? You can see my foot already in that direction instead of here. Now, as we watch this, you're gonna see Joe Rogan teach it the way that I just said, I don't think we should do it. But now watch this part here. Now he's gonna throw this kick. Bang, very nice, great kick, powerful kick. It's almost as if everything he just taught you was beautiful and he did it exactly like he said. But if we watch it slow, watch his foot. Watch his knee come to his back shoulder and his foot leads the way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like, oh, it's like I was right the whole time. That's crazy. Picking up your knee first is a good way to understand no, I, I don't think so. Picking up your knee first is like wasted energy. So obviously, yes, Joe Rogan is really good at kicking. I don't know who's arguing that. Every time I make a video and you comment and you say, Joe Rogan's really good at kicking, you should watch Joe Rogan. I, I know, I've, I, I seen it. All I'm saying is that if you base your entirety of learning sidekicks off this one video, I think you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice. Not because Joe Rogan is bad at throwing sidekicks or that his form isn't good. What he says here is not exactly what he does. And what's really cool is that one day when I'm on his podcast, we're gonna get a chance to talk about this when I'm much more like important than I am now, of course. Boom. Oh, now he's teaching the spinning rear kick. I like the way he teaches the spinning rear kick. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Never mind. He doesn't do it that way either. <sighs> All right, guys, that's a video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. In all honesty, watching the video all the way through to the end, it means a lot to me. It helps out the algorithm, and it means you're going to be a better martial artist because of it. Peace! Bow!